what is going on everybody it is muscle bro figs here back at it with another video and today i got a little something special for you guys as you can see here we have the ruthless aggression walmart exclusive ultimate edition figures what a mouthful but i managed to get these i was hunting all day yesterday no luck and i had someone that lives nearby me um, dm me and he said he found two of each so he was down to meet up with me and he hooked it up for a retail price so he gave me two rays and i got one eddie so i'm still going to be on the hunt for eddie hopefully i can get like one or two more i would love to have two more men on card just because i know how the walmart exclusive figure game goes those things tend to go up hundreds of dollars over time i mean decade of domination all of those figures are worth way more than their retail price so i'm I mean, the big show's at $100 right now, so everything's going up, and Ultimate Edition will be no different. I think these will be 10 times more in the future, a couple of years from now, especially the Yeti, especially the Ray. I, I can't, I can't get enough of these, man. Like, seriously, they did release this Ray, I think, in 2010 for the entrance grades figure. We'll get into that in a second, but here's the quick way to find these bad boys in stores so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to approach a walmart employee that has some sort of brain and they should be able to scan the bottom of the barcode and they can locate which stores carry these nearby so i'm going to give you guys the barcodes right now that way you guys have better luck trying to track these boys down so here's the eddie guerrero hopefully that's um, focusing my camera's been a little crappy lately. Um, let me see if I can get that to focus. Focus, there we go, there we go. So then you get you got the Eddie right there. Pause that. And then as well as that, that, uh, that Ray was gonna fall eventually. We have the Ray Mysterio as well. So there's the Ray and then there is the Eddie. Good luck finding them. They're going to be the same skew for Series 2 as well. That's the, They're not going to do singular um, Ultimate Edition like UPCs. They're all together, unlike Target. Target has them all under one, which is going to be uh, very easy to find Series 2 eventually because I know these are going to sell out. So then once, you, once those come out within like one to two months, you can use the same skew on the bottom of these two boxes and uh, try checking those down when the time comes. So good luck finding them. I really hope that helps. Not a lot of people, you know, really know the game when it comes to trying to hunt figures at Walmart. They try using BrickSeek, which does not work um, as well as Pop Finders. So definitely use that pro tip of the day. That is gonna help you track any Walmart exclusive figures, especially. So uh, good luck to you guys. But let's get back to the review. Let's start things off with this beautiful, beautiful Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition figure. So this is Rey's first time as an Ultimate figure, and I think they captured this look very perfectly. The details on this are absolutely insane. It's the same details as the um, basic, just an elite uh, Ultimate form. And you got the Ultimate feet right there. The one thing about this top piece, let me take this off real quick, is the, the basic has way more detail. So there's like a dry brushing effect that's going around on the top, as well as that there's like a dry brushing effect on the the beak, and as well as that, the, the silver uh, details, they have like a black wash going throughout it on the silver as well, I think, on the basic, so. That's the only thing I wish we could get on this is the all those details added onto this one. I mean, we're playing, we're paying premium for for these, so you know I want to get the bang for the buck. One thing I can say right off the bat is these figures, both of these, do not have any QC issues, no looseness, no bad paint apps. These things are pristine, man. These things are perfect. Uh, let's take this top piece off and as well as the back there's like a back clip right here very easy to take off and on let's put these aside right now and let's move on to the ray so as you can see here i'm not sure if you guys remember but the proto images had the tattoo like diagonal 
luckily they managed to fix it and we don't have to fix it ourselves you know i know some people were gonna buy like a decal and apply it themselves remove that we don't not have to worry about any of that all the uh tattoo applications on the figure are 100 percent accurate to raise uh, 2006 run so very stoked about that the 619 again here's the the waist same sculpt as his past few elites like the red one the ruthless aggression white elite all of those the only thing this Rey Mysterio is missing is the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold. Uh, very simple to get. Uh, I know the Edge figure for the Ruthless Aggression Elites is carrying it, as well as his this Rey Mysterio uh, Legend figure that just came out. It's currently on sale right now, so definitely try tracking that down at your target. It's for like $10 right now, I think. And it does include the head scan from that, the Legend Series 15, 16 Rey. I uh, gotta say, I like the one that I have on it. This one, uh, on every single ray, I've noticed that the the white eye pupils, they're all looking to the left, so they're looking this way, and it's gonna it's not just on mine. It's gonna be on every single one, unfortunately. And then this one, it's kind of doing the same thing, but I mean, it doesn't bug me as much as that one. Other than that, very solid. I love the glo glove mold that they use on Ray. I wish they can do that with the shield rollins and such here's the detail on the back of the mask yeah camera's probably not going to pick that up as well so very stoked to have this ultimate edition ray i know plenty of people are going to be using this for you know fodder they're going to turn their all of their rays into ultimates and yada yada you know who you are but yeah that wraps up the the ray nothing too crazy on ray what is crazy is this freaking damn torso that we got on Guerrero. Other than that, this figure is the best Guerrero figure to date. The head scans are great rep uh, representations of what Eddie Guerrero should look like, as well as the undisputed title. And this shirt that caught me off guard when I unboxed it last night, it does not have the Velcro, guys. It includes this awesome font that Eddie Guerrero had with this iconic t-shirt. It, it says addicted to the heat, printed on amazingly as well as the classic signature Eddie Guerrero shirt logo right there. Latino heat, baby, let's go. Love that shirt. That is amazing, stoked about that. The undisputed title uh, is the bigger version, unfortunately. I know the, the only figure that has the smaller, more accurate version is the Elite 55 Undertaker. Uh, other than that, we have like Brock Lesnar's and all that that have the big one so that's the only that's I guess that's kind of a downside but it's, it's all good this doesn't really wrap around his waist either so I'm just gonna have to display it over his shoulder some something like that you get uh, amazing sets of hands you got fisted a set of fisted hands here are my favorites you get a set of open like grabbing hands and yeah I, got, I like these ones more very expressive for Eddie we have a brand new head scan, which is, yeah, th th this is the first time in the line head scan, which captures Eddie's likeness very well, I'd say. Not too shabby. I dig it. I dig it. And as well as a first time in the line Eddie Guerrero with the mouth open expression. So one thing that no one's really been uh, mentioning lately in their videos is the mouth open expressions they have like a glossy tongue and it makes him way more realistic looking and M Mattel's been implementing that into their newer releases which is so freaking awesome it looks very nice not a lot of people uh like this head scan i think this is amazing i mean look at eddie on the back of the box that's very very expressive and this captures just that very cool and my favorite head scan is the the what is it the legends elite series 8 eddie guerrero head it's that head scan, but with no blonde highlights. This is just, this is Eddie, man. Like, any fan could guess that this is Eddie Guerrero. This is such a stunning head scan. This looks just like Eddie from the side profiles and, and the back. Very nice. This is the same exact attire as his Series 7 Legends, uh, Legends figure. It's more accurate. They upgraded the logos and designs and 
made them bigger and uh, the placement's a lot uh, more accurate compared to that figure as well as the boots the boot color is very accurate to how eddie had them and the bonus foot articulation as well they it also includes the the hip articulation but i'm not a fan of that that gets loose over time the only thing that i really have to dock off points for is that torso i really don't know a great substitute if anything the series 6 hulk hogan ultimate hollywood figure might work as well as that it might actually match the skin tone which eddie guerrero should have this is a lot darker than what eddie should be it's very dark actually in uh in person camera's not picking that up um that's the only thing that i can really think of is swapping the torso and then this would be a 10 out of a 10 figure either way this is the best uh eddie guerrero figure that's ever came out so far as for the Ray, I'm I'm a fan of it, but I I am looking forward to the fan takeover elite that we're gonna be getting early next year, uh, with the Seth Rollins in the in the set. So until then, this will do for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or sell it to one of the homies. Definitely gonna definitely gonna be tracking more down though. I have a lot of people that hit me up to hunt these down for them. You know, since I'm a pretty beast. Beast Hunter, I'd say. But uh, yeah, just uh, figured I'd show show you guys this video, come on here and maybe help out with you guys finding them and then you get a better um, you know, little showcase of what they're supposed, you know, what you're supposed to get. So yeah, very cool guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next unboxing. Peace.